This is a 550-pound Harley-Davidson motorcycle, tipped over on its side. And this is the motorcycle's rider, considerably less than 550 pounds. What will she do? She'll lift it, of course, simply, safely, and without strain, as long as she knows the right technique for lifting a motorcycle. Tipping over is only a moment's pause in the fun, if you know how to lift the safe and easy way. Don't go away. That's exactly what you'll see in the next few moments. At some point in the riding experience, most riders have the need to pick up a fallen motorcycle. You might tip over at a stop sign, or maybe you'll forget to put down your side stand. The first thing to do when this happens is to look around. Is there somebody else who can help? Even if you can do it yourself, two lifters are always safer than one. Before you do a solo lift, perform a couple of quick steps. Check for leaking fluids. If you see any, don't lift. Call an emergency contact for road service. Make sure the road surface you're dealing with is fairly level. If it's on an incline, get help. The bike could roll on a one-person lift, or it might slide away from you. Finally, think about yourself. Would a back problem or some other health issue make lifting unsafe? If so, don't take a chance on an injury. Ready now? Let's start the lifting process by stopping the engine using the engine cutoff switch. Put the transmission in gear. This will stabilize the motorcycle and keep it from rolling. If your motorcycle is down on the right side, don't forget to put the side stand down on the left side. You'll need it to support the weight after the lift is complete. When you lift, make sure there's maximum traction between the tires and the road. Improve the traction by sweeping any loose gravel out from under the tires. Also, remove excess gravel from under your feet for a firm footing during the lifting process. Now we're ready to lift. The muscles that make it possible are in your legs and your butt. Here's where most women have their greatest muscle strength. Begin by squatting down with your back to the motorcycle. Your butt should be midway between the center of the seat and the top side, the edge of the seat that's facing the sky. Your hands should grip the motorcycle, but where they do is important. One hand should be on the handlebar grip that's lowest to the ground. Your knuckles should be facing out. The other hand should be on something solid at the rear of the machine. It's tempting to grab the edge of the seat, but don't. You could damage the seat as you pull up. Grab the back fender, the fender strut, or the sissy bar if you have one. The key to understanding a lift is that you aren't lifting 500 pounds straight up. You're pushing back against the vehicle's weight. Much of the work is being done by your butt pressing against the top edge of the seat. The position of your feet also makes a difference in the strength of your lift. For some body types, it works best to keep the feet side by side. Others find it best to put one foot in front of the other. Find the combination that provides the most leverage and is most comfortable for you. It's good to get started with a slight rocking motion rather than a single mighty jerk. The momentum you build by rocking helps to lift the motorcycle up. Remember to push backward with your leg and butt muscle. Don't rely on your back and arms. The first 45 degrees of the lift are the biggest accomplishment. At the halfway point, slide your butt down to the middle of the seat and reposition your feet so that they are closer to the motorcycle and closer together. Walk backwards toward the motorcycle with baby steps continuing to push your butt back into the seat. Keep going until you walk the motorcycle back to an upright position. Finish the job by pushing the bike just past 90 degrees, resting it down on its side stand. Don't worry, the side stand will easily hold up the weight. These directions cover a motorcycle down on its right side. If you're down on the left, the steps are the same until the motorcycle is upright. On a left side lift, just before you reach an upright position, use the heel of your boot to move the side stand into place, then rest the motorcycle down onto it. The other option is to slowly and carefully turn your body around so you can grip both hand grips 
and put the side stand down with the toe of your boot. Is lifting a Harley Davidson easy? It takes a few moments of work, but it's far from impossible when you use the right technique. And the reward is definitely worth it. <laughs>